Are you interested in stopping your habit of distro hopping? You know what I mean, right? You find that distro that's about 85 to 90% of what you're looking for, and you figure if you could just tweak it another 5 to 8% that you would just be happy with that, right? Maybe? Or perhaps you're a Linux newbie who is just simply overthinking it. Now, let's talk about the pain points that caused me to distro hop. I personally hate how Arch Linux just always breaks my packages during updates. Sure, I could install something like Time Shift or something, right? Don't get me wrong, I think Pac Man is top notch. But the AUR packages, well, some of these maintainers just don't know how to handle updates properly. So initially, I switched to Pop OS and I loved it until I didn't. If I remember correctly, it was just that I couldn't install a vital plugin I needed for web development and frustrated i just simply moved on to debian but those packages were so outdated i might as well have been using slackware then i had this bright idea fedora i like it sort of my only beef is that everything revolves around the gnome desktop but i'm a tiling window manager junkie like for real i'd probably put DistroTube to shame with some of the obscure desktops that I use. Recently, I installed Fedora's XFCE version, but then I ran into like this weird issue that I couldn't solve initially, not with Google, ChatGPT, or anywhere. When I'm using XFCE, my browsers have access to my passwords, but in a tiling window manager, no access to my browsers. It was just bizarre, and this is the first time I'd faced such an issue in like nearly 20 years of using Linux. Then I tried a bunch of things. I went back to XFCE to see what was running in the background. I copied everything over to my auto start file, Inspector WM, for example, but it still didn't work. And then ChatGPT had no solution. Claude was stumped and nobody online seemed to have a clue either. The fix was ridiculously simple though, but it sent me on a quest to stop my distro hopping. So now at this point, I'm considering two alternatives. But if I'm honest, I think I'd already pretty much made up my mind. But I have to say this from the start. Life would just be better if I gave the GNOME desktop a fair shake. I'm well aware of this fact. However, I think there's a better chance of pigs flying out of my butt than that happening. Because of all of the issues I've had with the GNOME devs and things like this idea that i could join them right now and then beat them later kind of thing that never works anyway so what's my plan now since i can tolerate pac-man and i could keep the aur packages to a minimum i'm thinking of having something arch based right for like my tiling window managers my browsers and that sort of thing for development where I need more stability, I could use Fedora itself. And as for Debian with its ancient packages, I would use it for running servers. Now, is there something that meets this criteria or these needs? Hmm. Initially, Vanilla OS came to mind. It's an immutable di distro that makes you use, yeah, you guessed it, the GNOME desktop. Uh, uh, uh. It's based on Debian, but allows you to run like different things in tiny virtual boxes. I also thought about cubes, even though it's not immutable, but everything runs in like virtualized environments and like the whole operating system runs through the Tor browser. And if I'm being honest, I do plan on running this on real hardware because I'm really just curious about this distro, right? And whether or not it could actually just work for me. So is there anything else? Ah, Blend OS. This looked promising. It looked like I could get my downloading window managers running, draw packages from other distros. And although I'm not sure if they'll actually show up in D menu, I could probably manage. But after some research, I decided to try it up. I fired up a virtual machine to see how it would run on real hardware. Everything worked, mostly. Watched a few videos. I went through the whole documentation. I struggled a bit with the GNOME desktop. To change desktop environments, I had to indicate my preferences in the system.yaml file and then push it directly to the root directory. 
That took a minute to figure out. No big deal though. Everything else seemed really easy for me. Spinning up a virtual environments was easy. The Android apps didn't work too well. But maybe they'll fare out better on actual hardware. Though with KEMU inside Vert Manager, I'm practically using real hardware. So who knows, right? So I got another idea though. One with even more operating system options. Not that I'd use them all. That's Bedrock Linux. I used Bedrock for about a year before. And I might go back. I know for a fact that Bedrock can handle my tiling window managers right out of the box. So I thought I'd start out with Arco Linux in Vert Manager to test Bedrock out. Maybe I should even do like a bare bones Arch install for the quote unquote experience and a video on how to install Arch. That'd probably get like 100,000 views, right? I thought I could do that easily enough, but everybody's already done it already. Like so boring. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. But what do you think? Comment down below. Now, neither distro supports time shift. This is the only initial downside, but I doubt I'd really need it because, well, I've never really used it before. But there is another drawback that I soon discovered in Blend OS. That is the fact that you can only have one working desktop environment at a time. Now, don't get me wrong, I can run the system.yaml file and I could theoretically have like a skeleton file where I just indicate a different track every time I wanted to change desktops. This isn't foolproof though, because of at least a couple of packages aren't needing to be updated, then we'll just skip that section. This kind of made me like Blend OS less and less because of things like this. I should be able to just write multiple entries into like the user share X sections directory, but I can't. Now let's switch gears to Bedrock Linux. It's totally different in concept, but fits my needs similarly. The containerization of blend is cool, but I really don't need it. So I thought this actually might do. I want to see if this one feels a little more intuitive. So far, Blend OS seems marginally livable. At first, I was thinking to install Bedrock Linux on my Fedora XFCE desktop. It took me a bit to install Bedrock, set everything up, figure out how to install everything on my window managers and install OBS Studio, KDN Live, and Obsidian for my snap packs because well, they just work better on snap packs. Ideally, I'd have my window managers in Chrome on Arch, development stuff on Fedora, servers on Debian. I'm also looking at Alpine for certain servers. So, after installing Bedrock on Fedora, it turns out that ButterFS doesn't work well with Grub. Like, who knew? So I have to use a different file system, maybe like extension four, or just use a different bootloader. I like system D boot better than grub anyway, and Arco configures that out of the box. So probably just do that. So I decided on Arco Linux Plasma and I installed Wayfire and Hyperland. Then I installed Bedrock Linux. Now you remember that weird issue I had with Google Chrome? Yeah, it was a non-issue when I tried it out in a virtual box, but it resurfaced its ugly head when I installed it on actual hardware. But I found a fix for it. You have to completely log out and unsync everything and then start over from scratch. It isn't exactly straightforward on how to do that either, but I managed to figure it out. So at this point, I was already invested in this. Fortunately, if I'm honest, I'd probably rather use Fedora than Arch. Oh my God, I just uh, tried to install a few X window managers like Spectre WM alongside Plasma 6 and other Wayland desktop environments. I can't do this. It's funny because I tried to simply just make an image with Image Writer and I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it in Wayland based desktop environment or an X window manager. And then I launched Kitty and Alacrity and I couldn't even really enter my terminal commands because well i didn't actually have a proper bash prompt now xfce4 terminal worked correctly though does anyone know like a fix for this or why this happens comment down below 
So I'm back to where I started on Fedora XFCE4, but this time I found that fix for the Google Chrome issue, the password issue. So now I can install all my X window managers and be happy. I think I could have done the same with Arco, but I soon realized I was installing way too much in Arch Linux than I had initially planned. So that's why I went back to what I was using before. Now I'm wondering if there is a need for Bedrock Linux. I mean, I might use it for server stuff or I might have like a couple of packages that I want to install through Arch Linux, for example. Perhaps, I don't know. Also in theory, I could have installed a tiling window manager in Blend OS, but I wouldn't have been able to install multiple desktop environments or tiling window managers. That was kind of the deal breaker for me. I'm thinking it might be possible to recreate another instance where I just simply install multiple tracks with a YAML file. Is that possible? seems like it should be possible anyway leave me a comment in the section below anyway i'm planning on revisiting that in the near future and then i might rethink on whether or not i want to use an immutable operating system like this the other thing is is i might actually pull the majority of my passwords off of chrome and just use them locally on my computers it'd be cool because i could just pipe them right into the menu and choose my password of choice this is something I am consider I'm seriously considering. So this is kind of a non-issue for me personally. So initially I had a plan of comparing the two systems, Blend OS and Bedrock, side by side to give everyone like a unique perspective. But I soon found that installing tiling window managers are just too much of a pain in the Blend OS. So I plan on doing videos about immutable operating systems very soon because I do believe they are the future in desktop computing. The other thing that kind of drives me bonkers is all the pauses because Blend was, you know, spinning up all these Docker files. Anyway, this has been like an epic ramble where it took me a while to figure some things out. I stick around for my video on Blend OS because I think it will keep some people from distro hopping.